Morgan SLV here. How you doing, guys? Take two. One, five. 2011 gold, 1370, 2892 on silver. So let's go over some stuff. We realize that jobs probably aren't going to be going, coming back to the U.S. anytime soon, correct? Uh, reasons being, uh, you know, the unfriendliness of our uh, nation to do business, uh, the uncertain tax hikes, the health care reform, the, uh, the fact that, um, you know, you start up a company and, and uh, you know, all they want to do is find out how many uh, CFCs it puts off or, you know, are you killing the spotted owl or, you know, it makes it, it's, a, it's a not a very fertile place to do business. So in other words, you're a guy that manufactures sneakers and you can net $2 a pair here or $4 a pair in Shanghai or China or some other country, where are you going to go? right you're in it to make money you have a good product people are behind you you're gonna take off you're not gonna be here and I don't know what it's gonna take to, to fix this thing I mean I really don't I mean you know besides all the what all the feds doing and whatnot all these guys making all these regulations are making it very very tough you know Peter Schiff he just started um, I know that he put in another office and it is in Anguilla a uh, place that I definitely want to visit and uh, he hired 100 people there or at least that's what he said he was going to do and he goes unfortunately some of them are Americans they've left you know the US and went to Anguilla and they're working there now so you know GD when you send jobs off off uh, off American soil you also send GDP off American soil the Federal Reserve is the reason why there's there's so many price hikes right now why do you think this is going up? Now, I know we had a dip today. It's 28.92, but why is the overall trend of gold and silver up? Gasoline up. You know, Peter Schiff said his cotton briefs out, outperformed the Dow this year because cotton's up, corn's up, uh, soybeans. Uh, you know, it's because of the rampant printing and all the stuff that's going on. Let's go over three things that happened since 1990. You had the SNL crisis which you know definitely hurt us. You had the internet bubble, which Peter Schiff warned people about. That's how he started his uh, firm, Euro Pacific Capital. I suggest you guys check it out. The real estate bubble, right? People just thought they couldn't use. You had people buying at the peak of the market, buying five, 10 homes at once, flipping them for as little as 20,000 cash. You know, profit. Uh, you know, it was really wild, real quick. I'm gonna try to get through this video real quick. I'm trying to keep my videos, you know, under, under 10 minutes or much under that. There's a guy in uh, this town here, I'm not going to leave his name out, but he's got, a, he's got a real estate show and he's also got a real estate company. So we're cruising around in his limousine one day, my wife and I, and he's talking about all these homes that he's bought out in Morgan Creek and whatnot, and they're nice homes, man. I mean, these things are they're, they're definitely upper middle class homes, you know, three, four, five thousand 5,000 square feet. And he says, yeah, I got, them, you know, I got a bunch of rentals. And I said, now I'd, up to the, at this time, I've been reading a lot of Kiyosaki, and I said, let me ask you a question. How, much, how many of these homes do you have positive cash flow on? Now you gotta understand, we're in a little big limousine that holds about about 13, 15 people. He said, none, but I can afford it. And I looked at my wife and she looked at me and I'm like, wow. So we started checking, we know we were really into what does it cost per square foot? You know, they were in the 200, 220, or $220 range per square foot. You know, we had looked at new homes uh, that week in the $90 a square foot. So, I mean, they were way overvalued. Anyway, it's important for you to stay focused. It's important for you guys to study. That's why I do a lot of reading. You know, I got here, get your precious metals now. You know, uh, we did a $20,000 uh, buy through the uh, bullion shop yesterday. It was great. I introduced uh, a new person into, into my family, so to speak, the precious metals family. And uh, what a good feeling, man. You know, um, I've probably run uh, in the last two months, probably 30,000, 40,000 through the bullion shop there. And, uh, you know, without a hitch. And it's been great. Um, so, you know, if you guys ever, uh, you know, want a good place local here in Northern California, I'll let you know where they're at. And they're, they're just straight shooters. And, and they, there's other benefits there that I'm not going to go into right now that you can take advantage of. So it's really cool. Um, so that, that just made me feel good, man. My dream's coming true. I got to be honest. You know, the common person buys into manias. You know, I don't know if you ever read up on the tulip mania. And that was in like the 1700s, I think, maybe maybe even before that but to read if you can't google tune up the tulip mania and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about where people will buy it at the peak you know most people come in too late and uh, by then the, the you know the peak has happened and they're on their way down and they lose cash right those of us that uh, took advantage of this situation the precious metal situation and we're ahead of the curve you know are, are both lucky and smart as far as jobs go you know they're not going to be coming back to the U.S. anytime soon. It's not a fertile place. You know we have all this, um, 
you know, we have uh, the welfare, not the welfare reform, but the, uh, the health care reform. You know, you have uncertain uh, uncertainty when it comes to taxes. You know, uh, one of the things that Peter Schiff has said before, he goes, you know, on those on those few companies in the U.S. that that happen to be lucky enough to make a profit, what are they going to hit them with, like a windfall tax or something? I mean, you know, it's just crazy what's going on. You have to have a stable situation and a stable monetary system to make things happen on a continuing basis. And um, it's just not happening here. So uh, let's uh, get on with the joke of the day. Joke of the day is this. You got the Russians versus uh, the Americans for the heavyweight title for wrestling. Uh, um, this is a, 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 a story about the Olympics, a joke about the Olympics. And you have the heavyweight Russian who is undefeated. He's got a hold called the pretzel hold. Anytime he's got somebody in that, they have, they lose, and he usually he usually dispatches them very quickly. The American also, however, is undefeated, but he knows, and his coach knows as well. If he gets him in that pretzel hold, it's over. So sure enough, the big match, the big day comes, the big match happens. It's the two heavyweights, the number one contender from Russia and the number one contender from from uh, the U.S. And the coach says, I don't care what you do, just don't let him get you in that pretzel hold, and you got a chance. Sure enough, the match starts. Everybody's on their feet. Within 30 seconds of that match, the coach blinks. He looks up, and the Russian has the American in the pretzel hold. The crowd is going crazy. And uh, all, all, all the coach can do is just throw his hat down. He blinks again. He looks up, and he sees that the American has, has pinned the Russian, something that has never been done. He got out of the pretzel hold, and he pinned the Russian. Later on in the dressing room, he goes back and he talks to the American. He goes, look, man, you know, I don't know how in the heck you did that. He gets you in the pretzel hold and you get out of it. What happened? He goes, coach, he had me in the pretzel hold. I was in more pain than I've ever been in my entire life. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I saw the crowd on their feet. I look up and I see a big set of balls and I bit those balls as hard as I could. And the coach says, oh my gosh, you bit the Russians' balls? He says, coach, you'd be amazed what you can do when you bite your own balls. Morgan SLV out.